During New England's Super Bowl run, there were plenty of players who had huge impacts, but one guy who I really thought was very impressive, not just in that Super Bowl, but really in that entire playoff run, was Kyle Van Noy. One thing that makes Kyle Van Noy is he accelerates very quickly. A lot of times guys talk about speed as if speed is everything, but really acceleration is key. It's all about getting to your top speed very quickly, and that's what Kyle Van Noy does. And you pair that on top with being a very smart player, and it creates a lot of good things for New England. Like, if you take a look at this play, for example, this isn't a playoff play, however, it is a good play of showing how it can be effective, and that's why I wanted to include it in this video. If you notice, there actually is a tight end on that right side of the screen, however, he's running a route, so I don't really look at him too much, however, it is worth mentioning that because he is on that right side of the screen, and there is going to be a tackle who has a one-on-one -on -one matchup against Van Noy, this now means that Van Noy really has no choice but to run to the outside, because if he tries to run just straight into the tackle, then there's a tight end in the way, and if that tight end is blocking, then it will be very bad news for Kyle Van Noy. So now at this point, it's pretty simple. What the tackle would want to do is put his left hand on Van Noy's right shoulder pad, and then put his right hand on Van Noy's left side of his body, which would be very good hand placement and be very easy for him to block Van Noy out of the way, especially when Van Noy isn't as big as him or as big as most edge rushers. But if you notice what Van Noy does here is he just runs past that tackle. He's able to very easily get around him and get to the quarterback for a sack. He clearly has good acceleration, but I also think it's worth mentioning that he has a very good job of being aware of what's going on, and really, that's probably his biggest attribute is his awareness. So let's get into the actual playoff plays, and this one's a very good example of how he was able to be very effective. Like if you see, the offensive line has a zone blocking concept to the left side of the screen, and then they're going to send two receivers to just block that edge. That's actually Antonio Gates, who isn't a receiver, he's a tight end, but he's lined up as a receiver, and what he's going to be doing is blocking Van Noy on this play, and typically, that should be a very good situation for the Chargers, as Antonio Gates clearly is a good blocking tight end, and now he has a good angle as he's breaking in to block Van Noy, so typically the Chargers wouldn't really worry about that too much. And now if you see, Van Noy is getting blocked pretty well, I mean his back is almost completely turned to Gates, so what is he going to do? He's going to just completely turn it and then run to the outside. That didn't exactly work out as planned, but now if you take a look, pretty much every other Patriot is getting blocked on this play, except for Van Noy. Van Noy is the one guy who's getting unblocked, and it's all because of his impromptu spin move right there. He's able to get into the play and make a tackle, not really through some great play design or from some great set of sill, just by him realizing what was going on and spinning to get out of a bad situation to get over and make a play. He really helped the Patriots a lot in stopping the run. It's a huge reason why everything that played the Patriots didn't really seem to run the ball too well. Like, if you take a look at this play call, for example, it's going to actually be pretty simple. Basically, what the Chargers are going to do is have their center and right guard, and also have their left guard and left tackle have double teams in that middle of the field. And then they're going to send their center out to block that linebacker right there, and send their left guard out to block Van Noy. From there, they can simply just send their half back up, and it should be a pretty good play. As long as everyone makes their block, this can work out very nicely. However, take a look at Van Noy on this play. He's going to break in very quickly and break up this play. I mean, he realizes right off the bat what's going on, and he moves so quickly that there's no way that left guard can get get over to try to get into the play. This is a great play. I mean, it doesn't look like a huge play at first. I mean, obviously, no gain is a big deal, but it also prevents what should have been an easy five or six yard gain. Honestly, these types of runs can lead to easy first downs if the linebackers don't do their job. However, Van Noy did his job and then some, and it was a huge reason the Patriots were able to get a big stop. He really was crucial in the running game, but that doesn't mean he wasn't crucial in the passing game as well. Like, if you take a look at this play, that's where Van Noy is on the screen, and it's worth noting that there is a route running right there, right in between that coverage on the outside, where a route is going to be cutting in. If you take a look right now, look at where Van Noy is facing. I mean, he's turned his body, and he's completely facing that receiver. He's pretty much going to try to create contact on this play. That's his whole goal, is to try to create contact to slow that receiver down. Of course, not a ton of contact, because if we straight up tackles a guy, that'll get called for pass interference, but he pretty much just puts his left arm on that guy's right shoulder. The whole point of this is basically so that way he always knows where that receiver could be running. If the receiver breaks in, then he knows the receiver's going in. If the receiver breaks out, then he knows the receiver's going out. He's able to keep pace, and now if you notice, there really isn't a receiver open. There is a slight window where Rivers could maybe try to fit it through, and he actually is going to try it. This wasn't the best decision from Rivers to make this throw, and Van Noy does actually drop the pass, so I think a lot of people would say, what well, is wasn't a great play by Van Noy because he dropped the pass. However, really, this was a great play by Van Noy. I think Rivers kind of thought, oh, hey, linebacker in coverage, let's try to attack him, but that did not work out well at all. It really could have been intercepted, and while Van Noy dropped it, he made a great play on that one and really deserves a lot of credit. But the Chargers game was kind of a blowout. I mean, they pretty much had that game won throughout the start. Things didn't get really too dangerous up until they played the Chiefs in Arrowhead. Really, what was so key in that game was the fact that they were able to slow patch Mahomes and that Chiefs offense down for so much of the game. While Mahomes and Reed and that entire Chiefs offense did eventually get rolling, really, they don't win if they don't slow them down in that beginning portion. Like, if you take a look at this play, one thing worth noting is that the Patriots do like to have a lot of guys on the line. They pretty much always have at least five men on the line. And this play, they do have five defenders on the line. But of course, because you have five offensive linemen, each one of them is going to be in charge of blocking one Patriot defender. So now the Patriots are going to do isn't something too crazy. It is something that happens from time to time, but it is still pretty fascinating. What they're going to do is have Dante Hightower and their nose tackle both move to the right side of the screen. 
and then they're going to send their edge rusher over to the top, which in theory will get the tackle to then move to that left side of the screen, and get the right guard and center to move to the left side of the screen, and now Kyle Van Noy can simply just squeeze in between them. There's a reason they chose Van Noy for this, and it's because he accelerates very well. The Chiefs are a type of team that seems to gain yards on every play, so if you can't get a sack like this, it really messes up their momentum, it makes things a lot tougher for them. Now the Patriots do this kind of thing a lot, and Van Noy's not always the guy who's in charge of swinging around and getting through that hole. I mean, like if you take a look at this play for example, what Van Noy's job is to run through that left guard's left and then they also have a nose tackle run to the center's left. So again, in theory, now the left guard and center will be moving to the left side of the screen. And now it'll be a different Patriot trying to swing over and get through that hole. However, take a look at what's going to end up happening here. Kansas City's left guard is actually going to realize what's going on, and he's going to try to move to the right side to get into the play. His thought process on this was, hey, I have a left tackle right over there, so he can block Van Noy, and I'll move up to block the other Patriot in the area, so this won't allow him to have someone swing over. But the problem is, at this point, it's too late to do that. Van Noy is already past that left tackle. However, he still tries to do anyways, and Van Noy it takes advantage of this hugely, by being able to squeeze through and gain through the quarterback for yet another sack. While Mahomes, of course, did fall on the ball, it still was a great play. I mean, sacks are so huge in any football game, but especially in a big game like an AFC Championship game, and Kyle Van Noy really did elevate his play in those last two games and really the entire playoff run. This play was another very good play by Kyle Van Noy. If you take a look, that's where he is on the screen, and what Kansas City is going to do here is have their left tackle and left guard double team an interior lineman, and then they're going to send a tight end up to block the edge rusher. From there, they're going to have their center move over to block the other interior lineman, and they're going to actually pull their right guard over to lead block, and eventually block Kyle Van Noy. But take a look at what Van Noy does here. Instead of going through the traditional gap that you expect him to go up to, he's actually going to pull to the outside. So now, Williams is still going to try to squeeze through that gap, but Van Noy is in a much better position to just simply just run over and get into the play. While I do think he's a better run stopper than he is in coverage, he still was very good in coverage and played very well in his last few games in coverage. Like, if you take a look at this play, it's going to be a cover 3 zone, and Kyle Van Noy is right there as he's in charge of guarding the flat on that top half of the screen. So that means that the Chiefs are actually going to be picking on him on this play. If you take a look, they're going to have a route right there, and then they also have a flat route underneath him. So pretty much what this means is that he's in charge of guarding two Chiefs on this play, which is not a good situation. However, if you take a look, he's doing a very good job of staying with that first Chief and not giving up too much of a window. There still is a window from Mahomes trying to make a throw. However, that is a bit of a dangerous throw, as the last thing you want is to miss that throw slightly and then let Cal Van Noy be able to jump in front of it and potentially get a pick six. So typically, you wouldn't want to make that throw, and typically, you want to just do the safe thing and hit the flat route. But of course, if you hit the flat route, then Kyle Van Noy can run up and make a play on him, and that ends up being exactly what happens. That play, more than anything, was really just showing great patience. It was being very smart and not trying to do anything too rash. But anyways, while those two games were totally great and obviously were huge in the Patriots getting to the Super Bowl, let's talk about what happened when the Patriots actually got to the Super Bowl. After all, there was one game where they gave up points on seemingly every drive in the fourth quarter, and there was another game where they only gave up three points throughout the entire game, so let's talk about that one, as that was clearly the better overall defensive performance not just by Kyle Van Noy, but by the entire Patriots. On this play, it's going to be a cover two zone, and that's actually perfect for the Patriots, because if you take a look, those are the two routes that the Rams are going to be running. Typically, the idea behind this is that if it is man coverage, you'd be in great situation, because it's man coverage, and you can try to hit one of those crossing routes, and it could be open. And then if it's zone coverage, you have a fake jet sweep going to the bottom of the screen, and you're also going to be running play action, which means that you can then try to hit one of those receivers, and hopefully the linebackers will move in. Since it is zone coverage, that's what's key on this play, is you really need the linebackers to move in, otherwise Otherwise, this play isn't going to work out at all. But if you take a look, Kyle Van Noy does a great job of not moving in. He's very smart on this play. He's very aware. And really, that's what's key in football, especially when you're playing for New England Patriots who build their teams based off of awareness, is being an aware player. Especially in the linebacker position, and double especially when you're playing against the Rams who love to pick on linebackers. However, Kyle Van Noy did a very good job on this play, and did a very good job throughout the whole game of making sure he didn't stay out of position. Now the play is going on for a pretty decent amount of time, and at this point, there's now two Patriots guarding the one Ram who's in that area. One of which is Van Noy, who now realizes, hey, I don't have to be in this area, I can move up and try to make a play if I want to. And since Jared Goff is going to try to roll out of the pocket to see if he can potentially run for some yards or just have another receiver get open, like a heat-seeking missile, he comes in, lays a huge hit on Goff, and ends up sacking him. And really, this is a sack that Goff shouldn't have made, but this is a great play by Van Noy because he got there so quickly that Goff didn't even realize that he was coming right at him. By the time Goff looked over and saw Van Noy coming up, he basically just got hit by a truck. But really, I think Van Noy as a whole was a huge part of the Patriots not allowing the Rams to run for many yards. If you notice what the Rams are going to do here is have all one-on-one -on -one matchups on that right side of the screen. There is a tight end in that area, but he's actually going to be swinging to the left side of the screen, meaning that it's all going to be one-on-one -on -one matchups. And basically, since this is going to be run to the right side of the screen, this now means that everyone has to win their one-on-one -on -one matchups, and they trust their offensive line to do that. And while it does make sense to trust your offensive line when your offensive line is as good as Los Angeles's is, you also kind of have to fear the Patriots defense a little bit, and they certainly didn't on this play. If you take a look at Kyle Van Noy, he's not going to get moved at all to the right 
side of the screen. Not really were the Rams trusting their offensive line on this play, but they were trusting their tight end to be able to push Van Noy out of the way, and that did not work at all. Not only does Van Noy get to that right side of the screen, but he ends up getting off his block before Gurley gets there. It was truly a tremendous play by Van Noy. He had a ton of tremendous plays throughout the game and throughout the entire playoffs, which is why I'm making a video about him, and he really had a huge impact in the Patriots being able to win that Super Bowl. I've now made four videos, three of which were entirely about that Super Bowl, and now this video, which has a big chunk of it about that Super Bowl, and the reason why I'm able to do that is because the reality is the Patriots had so many players play key roles in that Super Bowl win. I mean, I haven't even talked about Stephon Gilmore, Sony Michelle, or even Tom Brady. You know, that guy had a pretty key role as well. And the fact of the matter is, it's because it was such a team effort. Really, that's the way the Patriots have been able to win six Super Bowls, is because it's never about one guy. As great as Brady has been over the years, and as great game plans as Belichick has made over the years, the reality is they all play as one unit, and that's a huge reason they've been able to be so successful for so long. Thanks for watching that video on Kyle Van Noy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And just so you guys know, I actually have a Twitter and Instagram that I've been trying to post on a lot more frequently. So you might want to check those out as I have been posting pretty daily on those. So feel free to give me a follow on those. And you ask me a question, I'll probably answer it. I have no life, so I have nothing else to do. And then we can keep the conversation going on there.